So their mediator release test, or the MRT test, is a very unique test when looking at food sensitivities. And what this test does, it looks at the, how much the white blood cells squeeze when it's exposed to a certain food. Now anytime we're exposed to something like bacteria, viruses, or in this case food, our white blood cells react to them. Goes out, tries to attack it, and get rid of it. So what this test does, it assumes that the bigger the squeeze of these white blood cells, the higher reaction you'll have to a particular food. Now when we say reaction, we're talking about inflammation. And inflammation, especially long-term inflammation, is one of the main reasons for long-term ill health in, in most people. So we want to identify those things that your white blood cells overreact to. Of course, we want to have a good response. We want to have a good response to, uh, to a, foods, but we don't want a massive reaction over a long period of time. Uh, that can, of course, bring ill health. So traditional tests only look at antibodies. And antibodies are the way your immune system tags things. So uh, if you're exposed to it in the future, uh, it's better able to uh, get rid of it. It's more efficient. Now, some people, especially with chronic health issues, may have trouble producing antibodies. So looking at antibodies to foods may not be the best way of identifying um, food sensitivities. So the MRT does a really great job because those people who do have um, issues with producing antibodies, their white blood cells still will squeeze to certain foods. So it's a really good test and we use it with most of our patients.